All right, this is gonna be a month recap video. Um, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite moments over the last 30 days that I've been abroad. Um, it has been an absolute blast. I still have another two-ish weeks um, here in Rome, but at the end of this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about studying abroad, how I found out about it, how I got into it. So definitely stay tuned if you're curious about studying abroad. Um, but other than that, I'll jump right into some of my favorite moments across the last 30 days. It is about 3.45 a.m. on January 1st, 2024, and today marks the first day of my travels to Europe. All right, first walking in the room. Oh, are these the lights? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're just hanging out together, right, buddies. No. We paid for it, guys. Just wandered off. Yeah. We are we are walking towards the dragon ship, and she has disappeared. Yeah. So we are very very worried. We are waiting for her right now. Yep. Um. She just has a call a fully. Hopefully. Many girls around that is a two boy, but <laughs> now he's uh, <laughs> under the table. Is that Ryder or Zeus? Is that even Zeus? Uh, I don't know, but he looks a little bit like him. Yeah, I think. What up, Ryder here, picking up Stonehenge. When in Italy, do in Italy. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, oh my god. I think they forgot something on my pizza. You ordered marinara, you idiot. Uh, but... Alright, so that's just a little sneak peek as to what I've been up to for the last 30 days. Um, all my other vlogs are a bit more in detail, there's a lot more going on in them, so definitely go check them out. But now we're going to get into the actual studying abroad part of all of it. So if you weren't aware, I am studying abroad um, through a program called CIEE, which is an affiliate of UT. Um, and basically I'll be studying in Rome for six weeks, London for six weeks, and Madrid for six weeks. I'm beyond thankful for my academic advisor and the entire study abroad department um, at University of Tennessee, Knoxville. They really helped me figure out what worked best for me. Um, and then once I figured out, decided what I wanted to do, they really helped make sure that I follow through. They helped me make sure all my classes are going to count for credit hours, so I'm still getting all the financial help I need, um, scholarships helping me find other opportunities to you know, fund my dreams and fund everything I'm doing right now. So I wanted to start this off by saying thank you guys, um, everyone that's helped me get through this, whether it's the CIEE staff, the UT Study Abroad, um, the entire like, program board, or my academic advisor. Seriously, thank you guys so much. So a little bit of how I got into this. Um, I always knew I wanted to go to Europe. I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, this summer, I spent a while learning German, expecting to go to Switzerland. I don't know why I wanted to go to Switzerland. I was just like, hey, I'm going to Switzerland. Um, but it ended up not working out, and I'm beyond thankful that it didn't, to be completely honest, because I'm so content with life right now. But like I said, I knew I wanted to study abroad. So if you're thinking about it, start acting as soon as you kind of realize you want to. Because um, there is a lot to it, I'll be honest. It's not exactly the most straightforward, easiest process, but um, there are people out there that want to help you and they hope to see you study abroad and they hope to see you succeed abroad. Once you figure out that you want to study abroad, start reaching out. Um, I know I can speak on behalf of the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. They were beyond helpful. Um, I emailed them in the summer. It's currently January now. And I started that the whole process of trying to figure out where I wanted to go, what I wanted to be doing pretty early on. But I, I jumped ahead. You can definitely 
you definitely have plenty of time to figure out what you're doing. Learn languages, that's something I mess up on. I don't speak any Italian. I took a couple years of Spanish in high school, so I'm hoping I'll be okay in Madrid, but if you're going somewhere, seriously learn the language, spend a couple hours a week learning it at home, Duolingo, um, Rosetta Stone, whatever you can do, um, it'll help tremendously when you get there. Once you kind of figure out where you wanna go, that's really when you wanna dive into talking with the office. Um, Thankfully, UT has a super nice site where um, they talk about all the possible programs. And then, um, so there's direct through UT and then there's a couple different affiliates. Um, but basically, they're all gonna help you study abroad. And that's something you'll work out with some abroad advisors. They'll walk you through what kind of, what's to be expected, what you have to be doing um, through a couple different appointments. It's not the most difficult process by any means. It's definitely, um, a little bit time consuming because you want to make sure you're doing everything right. A little bit more into CIEE, which is an affiliate. They do all sorts of different opportunities for students. Um, so I'm doing the open campus three block semester where basically, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to one place for six weeks, another for six weeks, and then one more for six weeks. Um, but they have all sorts of different programs. I'm staying in Europe, but I believe you can go um, to Asia, South America. So studying abroad is not limited to just Europe. I absolutely love what I'm doing now. Uh, I would definitely recommend studying abroad. Figure out what works best for you. Something super unique about studying abroad is the financial aid opportunities you have in that so many people are willing to support you. Just through a simple Google search, you can totally find um, a couple different grants, scholarships, um, ways to get funds just by writing essays, being yourself, telling them uh, why you're studying abroad, why you want to study abroad. Just One thing I did is apply for the Gilman Scholarship, and although I didn't receive it, I qualified um, for other grants and scholarships just because I applied for this one. So um, there's a bunch of kind of loopholes around that like if you apply for something it means you're eligible to apply or receive more aid in certain categories but definitely recommend the gilman grant or gilman scholarship again i go to ut so i can't speak on every other college but i know people absolutely would love for everyone to study abroad um, most of my friends here come from all over the place whether it be asu washington new york they're from everywhere and their schools also love to promote studying abroad and they really try to make it as accessible and as financially easy as possible. So there's definitely ways to do it. Um, get in contact as soon as you figure out you want to study abroad. Like act early, start figuring things out because um, it'll make your life a lot easier if you have plenty of time to figure out what, what you're doing, where you're going, financially plan it. Uh, so that's probably the biggest tip I have. Key takeaways are going to be act early. You absolutely want to reach out, figure out kind of everything going on. Um, the subcategories of uh, acting early are reaching out to your programs abroad office. Uh, they're super prompt. They're super, help super helpful. They love to help. The second category of that is figure out what you want to do slash where you want to go. Um, because like I said, learning a language is not a quick process, but it's super important and it's something I wish I would have taken more seriously before heading over here. And third is have fun, relax. Um, enjoy the thought of going abroad, work on it, write your essays, apply for your scholarships. But, um, you know, if you want it to happen, you can make it happen and everyone is absolutely willing to help you get there. Just wanted to give one final thank you to the University of Tennessee Study Abroad office. Um, they really do make things easy, so absolutely get in contact with them as soon as you figure out your son abroad. Um, thank you to CIEE for giving me this opportunity and giving me a chance to share how much fun I'm having with everybody. Uh, it's been such a cool experience. I'm stoked that I have another 12 plus weeks in Europe. And lastly, thank you to everyone who's been keeping up with my videos. Uh, roughly 12 p.m. Central U.S. time uh, videos are coming out. So if you're awake, you're around, you got some time, definitely check them out. But thank you guys so much, and I will tune in with you guys later.